Hi guys, my name is Luisa and today I want to show you something that I think it was really helpful for me when I was starting to use the software Duo Studio 2019. I have these two projects. that I think are really practical to give you an example. In this version of the software, there's no flipception tool visible. So I want to show you this video tutorial. Where you can see um, they use this tool. Well, they say that flopception are used to identify, identify elements where you want the software to compute and report the amount of flow crossing these elements during the solve process. So, well, I was trying to understand how could I find this tool in this new version. And, well, for the first example, here, uh, as you can see, I have this exercise, it's a dam, and the software has done the flow net under the dam. Actually, I determine how many flow lines I'm going to draw over the soil under the dam. But the flow paths, the flow paths are already drawn by the software. Okay. But my point is, when you want to know the unit flow under the dam in the previous version, people used to use flipception too. But nowadays, you have to use the tool called graphic here okay guys we are here so the first step is add a new graphic okay you put a name whatever you want and then you select here water flow okay and then you select this one water rate or rate of water whatever and you select here time okay the second step is to set location all right so you you click here in the second one option and you just draw a line like like this okay then you click show graphics and then I think that's the last one step is to click here you know here and there you go that's the water rate you know under the down that's the way how you can compute the flipception. 
okay that's the way you can do it <clears throat> but if you want to compare you can use this formula and you need to know the permeability the number of equipotentials and the number of flow lines and then you can calculate the flow so I did it and that's the result with or using the formula and using the software they are really close numbers this is all for the first exercise okay this is the second exercise it's almost the same this is an embankment and well you click here in the graphic tool add any graphic put a name whatever you want then you click here you select here water flow and then rate of water this is for y axis and then for x axis you select time here and second step you select or set locations here click you select the second one option you draw a line okay show graphics and the last step click here and then you have the flow you know that's the second exercise it's the same thing Okay guys, thank you for watching, um, I don't speak English, but I did my best, <laughs> so I just hope that this video will help you, thank you.